How is it going guys and welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. Hey guys, Dave here. This video is sponsored by Envato Elements. They've got an amazing desert products library with unlimited downloads. They've got over 5 million assets. They've got photos, stock videos, graphics, video templates, motion graphics. Honestly, for $16 and 50 cents a month, they've got so much stuff. They'll just make your life easier and help you create things faster, meet your deadlines and keep your clients happy. For more info, check out the links in the description. Let's get into this video. Hey everybody, what's good? Dave here. Today, I want to show you guys some of the stuff I use in pretty much every editing session to just speed up my workflow and make my life easier. So let's jump straight in. Copy pasting or removing attributes. Now say you've got all these clips here. Say you've added some different effects and now what you want to do is copy all those effects onto the other clips. All you have to do is command copy or control copy and then literally paste attributes. And what that will do is give you a list of what you want to paste onto those clips and you just press OK and that's done. Lumetry Master Video Adjustments. Now with this one right here, say you've started editing something and you've chopped up your video into loads of little clips without having to go back or copy paste the Lumetry color adjustments or color grading. All you have to do is come up here to the source and just color grade that and that will be applied onto the rest of the clips. And you'll see this red line underneath that means it's been all adjusted. Cropping your videos for social media. Now, I use this all the time for client work, especially when we're repurposing some of the videos. Say I've got 1920 by 1080 or full HD dimension video. If I want to post this on Instagram, I need to first change the sequence. Say we want our video to be 1080 by 1080. And there's an effect called auto reframe. And you pretty much drag that onto your video. And what Adobe is going to do is analyze what the main focus of the video is and make sure that is in the middle. That'll save you loads of effort trying to keyframe everything and make sure that your subject's in the middle. If you do want to go further in, override the generated keyframes, you just click the overwrite generated path box and then you can go in further and change those keyframes. So say you're ready to post on social media. What I do as far as exporting goes is, first of all, I create an adjustment layer to go over my whole video. And then I go into Lumetri and into Creative and sharpen it ever so slightly because I know it's gonna get compressed. After that, I press Control M or Command M. And what I found works best is H.264, 1080p Full HD, YouTube settings, match the source so it's the size that you need. And then go down to constant bit rate and just jack this up until it's about maybe up to 100 megabytes and then export. That's the foolproof way I found I could just airdrop videos onto my phone and just not have a problem. It just works. Speed up your edits. Now this is easily said than done. What I do is when I've got long videos and I need to find like little segments or repurpose something, I use the keys JKL to start off with, L to play or double speed, K to stop, and then J to rewind or double speed rewind. The next thing I use to speed up my edits are Q, W, and E. Now E, I've made a shortcut that is add edit. So anything that's highlighted, I could just press the E and just add an edit straight away. And then Q and W are like a backwards and forwards ripple delete. If I'm right here and I press Q, it's gonna delete everything to my left. Or if I press W, it's gonna delete everything to my right. Now where it kind of ripple deletes is where you've got cuts. So say I've got a cut right here and then I wanna delete this section right here. All I have to do is just press Q and that deletes everything on every layer. So it just ripple deletes everything. And then I've added this other shortcut, which is option E, which adds an edit on every clip on every layer where the cursor is. Move clips around and create new layers. Now, what I mean by that is you can pretty much move the clip anywhere you want. So I can press command and right or left to move it frame by frame and then command shift right or left to move it five frames along. Or I can press option and then up or down and I can move these clips up or down. Plus that's a cool way of creating new layers without having to right click and go through the menu. Default transitions, these save me so much time. You can either right click on the edge of the clip and then apply a default transition or go to the edge and then press shift D and that'll apply a default transition. Or if you wanted to apply default transitions onto multiple clips, what you can do is select them, 
press to the edge so everything's got a red edge and then shift D and that applies the default transition onto all your clips. Now, if you wanted to change the default transitions, what you want to do is say, I wanted to change the crossfade, go onto your desired transition, right click and set that as your default transition. Borders for your videos. Now this is a very quick way to make borders for your videos. I've made a more in depth video, but this is a really quick way of doing it. Say I've reframed this first clip and I'm going to post it onto Instagram. So it's a square video. First of all, what you want to do is make sure the video is square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to nest it. So I'm going to move everything up and then duplicate that track. On the bottom track, I'm going to add a drop shadow effect. Choose whatever color I want and make sure you click on this box shadow only. And we're going to make sure the distance is zero. Go to your top clip and when you resize that, that's going to give you a perfect border. Adding subtitles to your videos. This is something I use for every client video that goes on social media and it really helps engagement and reach. What you want to do is make sure your sequence is selected, go up to window, text, and just like that, Adobe has made it so easy to just transcribe your sequence, wait for a few seconds. After that's been created, go through your text and make sure it's all correct. Create captions. There's just some finer stuff right here. Usually for social media, these are the settings I use. Create. Following that, what you can do is select all your subtitles and choose your fonts that you'd like to use. Adjust size, pop it wherever you want, top, middle, bottom. Add shadows, change the color. And just like that, you've got subtitles done. Easy. So yeah, that's the video. I hope that was helpful to you guys. This is stuff that I use on pretty much every editing session and they've really sped up my workflow. Like and subscribe to the Olufemi channel. If you want to say hi to me personally, I hang out on Instagram most of the time. Dave the Greco is the handle. So yeah, until next time, take care guys. Peace.